Hello viewers, it is with equal parts regret, pride, and joy that I announce the success of our biggest and most controversial prank ever. Allow us to dig deeper through the theatrics of this ordeal into the core of the results of this so-called social experiment. Much like we announced before, we have done it for a number of reasons, which we will omit for this evaluation. First and foremost, I would like to state that we stand by our actions and our decisions. We do not intend to apologize for it, or discredit it to gain back reputation or what small amount of viewers we lost. Our actions and their results were anticipated. They were planned, acted, and reacted multiple times before the proper execution was delivered. There was a written script, planned distribution, and numerous minor acts to make it look as genuine as possible. It was simply a film made to jolt an emotional response. The only thing we did not anticipate was the number of responses. We are not discussing moral implications of our content, but its value as an art form and its goals, which all were met. Once told that it was not a true tale, you as viewers had a number of ways to go about it. We don't have all possible iterations of the responses, but ones that stand out the most are the most logical. Acceptance. The ability to look at the content for what it was, accept it, evaluate it, and move on. We found this to be the most logical response, which was met by the majority of the population. Rejection. To blindly believe that the film was true regardless of the truth, we found that none of the population retained that. Personalization. When the situation, which has absolutely no direct effect on the individual, is taken as if it was, we found that this was a response met by a fraction of the population, who are unable to differentiate between what should be taken as personal and what should be taken as foreign. These people believe that they were personally insulted by our film and its reveal as being a fake. Reasons for it? We can't be conclusive, but one that stands out is possible embarrassment. The fact that these individuals emotionally invested themselves into our films and took it upon themselves to believe it, and then their inability to accept it for its true nature. We found that many such cases revealed character flaws in those we consider to be more mature, more leveled individuals. Indifference, Trolls and Fans this is self-explanatory. Individuals who simply did not care responded to the act of our experiment with their trolling and blind fans who give absolutely no care but to support their idols, friends, and acquaintances. They also fit under the category of personalization, of being fooled into believing the story and later on laughed at for doing so. The only category we did not observe were evaluators, people who looked at the actual content as that, content, evaluated its deep impact, its gritty writing, acting, and distribution to either critique these three aspects or praise them. We really hoped that our most mature of the directors and most experienced would follow this particular course. Unfortunately, we did not see this result. One of the things we anticipated were the consequences. Putting aside the obvious insults and displeasure, let's look at the long-term results. We will be using names of people not to showcase what they have done, but to acknowledge our displeasure of what our act has accomplished, and commend these individuals for sticking to their morals. We are happy to announce that as of this date, effects were minimal. We initially lost 6 subscribers. This is not the final number, nor completely conclusive, but statistics show that, we anticipate, further loss as our film receives more views. However, we do not expect a huge change after the initial drop. We have gained 80% of the lost subscriber count within a few hours after the Three Stooges explanation. Mike WB from Nova Productions has voiced his dislike of our notion and has removed us from his sub box. While we don't have conclusive evidence it was done in the reaction to this experiment, we noticed it after the event occurred. While we hope Arbiter 617 of BPS will see this as an experiment and hold his firm hand from slapping us off, we do anticipate a rise in tension and possible removal from the subbox as well. While not overly friendly or communicative, Sam of Small Productions has also voiced his displeasure of our debacle. However, having minimal contact and non-existent collaboration, we find this to be of minimal consequence. 
While collaborating with Black Phoenix Studios and employing his services as a voice actor, our experiment has left conflicting emotions as well as general displeasure of the act. He has broken his verbal contract as taking part in our film and cut off communication. While this act sets us back with our projects, we anticipated a more clear division between the emotional component and the business component of this individual's persona. We regret, of course, this has taken place mostly due to our own misjudgment. We would like to note that we are not using these individuals as subjects, but showing effects and losses we took during this experiment and the price we are paying for our actions. The general population, while having a huge uproar, had minor effects. Besides a few vulgar threats, the response was positive. We will go over why it was positive slightly later. Most of the commotion was caused by a fraction of the community. As stated in previous points, the majority of the community accepted the experiment and moved on. What remained was a confused portion, which were cleared up on the matter and, for lack of a better word, haters. It is not a secret that there is a number of individuals who have extremely negative emotions towards our group and community, but we are happy to announce that no serious long-term fans were displeased, and what remained were those who had already strong negative feelings towards us. Their reaction was a part of why we released this controversial film, and why this experiment was a success. We are also happy to announce that said people belong to a singular community, which only reassures us of the correct hypothesis of this so-called study experiment. While negative effects surely caught our attention, it's the positive effects which truly bring a confident smile to our faces. Not only were we able to successfully release a piece of media that portrayed horror, pain, neglect, and sorrow of a possible reality, primarily due to superb acting and writing, we were able to disseminate the film with positive results to gain its attention. We won't deny that we have used numerous tactics, it is true. We started it as a prank attempt. However, after a certain pivotal point, we turned it into a study. While it can't be used in any official paper due to skewed responses and unreliable statistics, this, after all, is data on its own. And it showed one concrete statistic. The community comes together at times of crisis with a mutual goal of helping, mutual care. We found out that individuals who neglected our members for lengthy time periods came into contact with support, some enemies offered help, and community members stood behind the hurt party. We found that it is possible to unite the biggest directors, the most rude directors, and the smallest directors to actually make this feel as a true community with similar goals. That was the true goal of our experiment, awareness of a fellow director, voice actor, and writer. We will not apologize. We will not ask you to understand. We stand by our experiment like we stand behind every decision we make. We are not popular any longer. We are crude. We are direct. We do not cater to any one party, and that is how we make our mark in a community that is broken up into subsections and come together only when crisis occurs, rather than coexist and be of mutual contact. You can justify us wrong all you want. It will not change the facts and evidence we have gathered. We will remain as we are, making films the way we want, about what we want, and make drastic steps and unheard of actions that are what and who we are. This is Trigram's production. Wishing you a good day.